Hey everyone, this is Just a Tech and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we will talk about the full passcode bypass on various iPhones, iPad or iPod Touch. If you have a device that are having on the passcode screen or a disable screen, you can do the full passcode bypass that supports SIM and all the iCloud services with the untethered bypass. So in this video, I will show you the complete step by step process. But let me clear you first, this method is only for the pre-activated passcode or disabled device that is pre-activated with a network. So this method is only for those devices. If you have a already iCloud bypass device, this method will not work for you. So make sure you choose the correct supported device and then we can move further. So let me just go to my computer screen and show you the complete step by step process. Alright for this method I am using my Mac operating system that is more easy to use but for Windows user you can try the Hackintosh method to install Mac on your Windows machine or for dedicated Windows tool I will make the new tutorial later. Now first you need to jailbreak your device with the checkrain. So currently the checkrain latest version that is 0.12.4 but for iOS 15 there is a update video on my channel so you can check out that and get some good progress on the iOS 15. But currently the jailbreak support with the checkrain is only for the iOS 12 to the 14.8.1 for the iPhone 5s to iPhone X. Now to jailbreak the passcode or a disabled checkrain jailbreak supported devices, sometimes we require old checkrain version and sometimes the new version depending on the iOS version that on the disabled or a passcode device. So you can download any version of the checkrain from the official website. So currently I am having the iOS 12 device with my hand and this is on the passcode screen. So I will recommend you to use the latest version that is 0.12.4 or you can use the old version that is the 0.10.2. So correct version of the checkpoint is depending on the iOS version that is on your passcode or a disabled device. If you don't know the iOS version that exactly on your device, you can watch this video. This will give you the correct iOS version on the disabled or a passcode device. So currently I'm having the iPhone 6 and it's running on the iOS 12.5.5. So first I will connect the device and the checkrain will not detect directly as it's on the passcode screen. So first we need to put this device into the DFU mode or you can put in the recovery mode and then you can jailbreak it. So for that you will require to press the button combination to put your device into the DFU mode. After that you will see the black screen and the iTunes pop up that means your device will get into the DFU mode successfully or you can see on the check print screen also it will written here. So now we will use the CLI mode to jailbreak this passcode or a disabled device so it's very easy. You need to run the check print in the CLI mode. I will show you how you can do that. First open your terminal then go to your finder. Now see the content of the check print app. So just right click on it and you will see. Now go to the folder. Now go to the macOS folder and then you will get the check print file. Now drag and drop on the terminal. So let me just adjust the terminal so that you can see clearly everything. So now just drag and drop the check print file on the terminal and give space and enter hyphen C. This will run the check print in the CLI mode. Now after that just hit on enter and your device will be start jailbreaking. Now as I told you in the starting, if you are on higher iOS version like iOS 13 and iOS 14, you will require to patch your USB restriction with the USB patcher. You can try different USB patcher like Mina USB patcher or you can also try the HFZ USB patcher that is more accurate and easy to use. I have already made a video on that. So if you have a iPhone 7, 7 Plus, 6, 6S and other that is running on the iOS 13 or 14, you need to put the device into the diagnostic mode and then you can patch the USB restriction with the help of USB patcher. I've already made the full tutorial on that. So you can watch that if you have those devices or iOS version. You can easily jailbreak it on your Mac operating system with the help of that video. But currently I have a iPhone 6 that is running on the iOS 12. So that doesn't require any patch to make the jailbreak. So it's very easy you just need to put your device into DFU mode and run the CLI command. 
and after that you can easily jailbreak it without even patching. Now to do the passcode bypass we will use the HFZ latest version all in one tool. It has everything in single tool so it's very good. So I will just first install it and to download all these tools for free you just head over to the description blog link where you will find the direct link and you can easily download it. Now first of all you will see all my device information and from the list you can click on the passcode bypass or activate bypass. So first you can also pass the USB restriction also from this tool. So it's a paid tool so I will show you how you can register it but it's very nominal price so you can easily do that. So first of all you have just need to connect the jailbroken device. After that click on passcode bypass. At the first time the tool will show your device serial is not authorized and it's not registered. So for registering the tool you just need to contact me I will register it instantly. So it's very easy just check the description you will get all my social media handles link. Just go there and contact me on telegram, instagram, facebook, twitter. So contact me anywhere you like I will register your device so you can check the charges on the screen. So after that registering your device just reconnect with that. And now just click on activate so select the list from the passcode bypass and after that it will create the backup of the activation record directly from your pre-activate device that include the activation record place and other important files that are required to activate the device after the erase so now you can see that the backup of the activation file is done you can also save the backup on the different location for your future use so you can select the save backup file and it will save the backup in the different location so that you can keep save that backup and if in future your device will lock again you can use that activation file again to activate your device for free so you can just click on that and it will back up your file in the document folder so let me just show you where it can get so just go to the documents where you will find this file now these are all the activation record files of your device so make sure all these files are present in the document folder now you can easily activate your device so before that you need to erase your device so that it will completely flash or restore your device without changing the ios version so click on that after that your device will get a respring and go to the restore state so do not disconnect your device until you will see the erase is done now once the erase is done you can activate with your backup so for that you need to re jailbreak your device now your device will arm on the activation lock screen don't worry about that you just have the activation backup files you just need to activate again so simply re jailbreak your device Now once the jailbreak done, just set up your device and connect with the Wi-Fi and stay on the activation lock screen. Now select the activate passcode from the list. Now just click on start and wait for it to get complete. After the bypass you will see your device will directly get into your home screen and for iOS 13 and 14 you can reactivate your device again. So now you can see the device is successfully activated and you can see the sim is now working and you can see your network name on the top and signal. So you can place any call or you can make or receive calls without any hassle. So now the iCloud services is also working like iCloud login, FaceTime, Siri, iMessages. So first let me show you the iCloud login is perfectly working. So I have successfully logged into my own Apple ID account. So now next I will show you the FaceTime is also working. So you can use the FaceTime. Now FaceTime is also working. Now let's check Siri. Hey Siri, open photos. So everything is working after the full passcode bypass include your SIM, iCloud services, FaceTime, Siri, App Store, even the checkerin is also there so you can install CDI if you want the jailbreak and tweaks. Now I will just reboot the device and show you this passcode bypass is completely untethered that means if you reboot your device it will not lock again. 
So now you can see the device is on again and it's working like a normal device. So let me just place a call again and show you that the calling is still working after the reboot. So that's how you can use this tool and do the full passcode bypass and glue the sim for the checkpoint jailbreak supported devices. This method is same and working for iOS 12 to the 14.8.1. For iPhone 5s, 6, 6 plus, 6s, 6s plus, 7, 7 plus and iPhone SE first generation. For the A11 devices like iPhone 8, 8 plus and iPhone X, the method is quite different so I will make another video on that too. So that's all for this video. I hope you gained some knowledge and like the content. So just hit the like button and if you're new here, subscribe to the channel for more cool update. So till then, goodbye, take care and peace out.